How's it going, everybody? It's me, the Kevster. Yes, I know I haven't recorded in a while, but here I am recording a bucket tutorial because I don't know. I just kind of want to. So, uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be playing with some custom inventories that Bucket has to offer. Um, you'll be able to hover your mouse over some items like a sword or something, and uh, it'll have you know like a name description. When you click on it, something will happen. You know all that, all that jazz. But uh, I've set it up before I started recording. We got our custom inventories. We got a package, which is called YouTube.custom and invs and blah, blah, blah. Um, and we got some events, main and menu classes. And um, in the build path, here I'll show you. In the build path, I did add this craft bucket 1.8 blah, blah 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 snapshot. Um, that it 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 allows me to work with 1.8 while even though it's like not even out on the bucket dev forums, so I'll link that in the description so you guys can download that. Um, yeah, so in this main class I set it up, um, made it the main class, and I got an instance of our events class so we can register our events in the on enable. And I'm also getting the con or the console and saying, you know, enable the menu plugin. Okay, so. And here, I've made a private inventory, so that's going to be the inventory we're going to be playing with, and some item stacks, so that's going to be like the stuff that are in the actual inventory. So let's get right into it. So first we're going to have to do a public, and then our class name, so in this case, public menu, plugin P. So we're basically getting an instance of this class, or this is basically going to be called when the the plugin is started, the server is enabled basically. So we're gonna import org.bucket.plugin and we're going to do bucket dot get server dot create inventory. Here it is, very handy, very handy. Um we're going to do I because we made our private inventory up here. And this is how big you want your inventory to be. So like a uh, if you go to Minecraft, your inventory, your your classic default inventory, your survival inventory, it has three um three rows of nine or th yeah three rows of nine or I guess ten I'm not really sure and then you have a hot bar too so that's basically four rows so um, if you wanted one row you would write nine because you no know, um. Eclipse is weird, or Java's weird, and zero is the first one, so that's that's ten. So that's one row, or you could do uh, a, a eighteen, I think, eighteen for two two rows, and then etc. I'm just gonna do nine for tutorial purposes. So we had, oh no, we don't need to do that. We just need that, and hello. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so I was actually doing that wrong, but uh, I changed this to env just to make it you know a little bit more easier for you to see. Um, so in here you're gonna do env equals bucket dot get server dot create inventory. The inventory holder is gonna be null for whatever reason, and this is the amount of rows. And this is gonna be the actual name of your inventory. So um, we can make this whatever. We can make this a uh, um cool inventory exclamation mark and you can use chat color too so I'll just do some chat color dot red or let's just do green plus and yeah cool inventory so we have that now we need to create our item stacks which I as you can see I have handily have a little uh, method that uh sorry excuse me that a method that allows us to create um custom items item stacks I guess that that are whatever material have a certain name and 
lore, which is the description, basically. So, yeah, so we can just do, um, uh, item, or no, since we, since we already have up here, item stack, blah, 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 and, you know, I have teleport message get item, we could do, uh, teleport equals set meta, and then we could do material dot, um, let's just do an anvil, material dot anvil, anvil. And then we will have um, our name, which could be, hold on, okay, our name, um, what do we want our name to be? Uh, this will make you teleport. And let's have a check color, so check color dot blue, we'll say. This will make a teleport, and then we're gonna have our lore. And for this, you have to say arrays dot as list, and then your lore. So, um, I'll do that. Uh, let's do check color dot dark purple plus. Just to make this easier for you to see. Um, we'll do that, and um, let's do. Actually, let's just let's change this to this will make you teleport, and this will be uh, I don't know teleportation. I spell that right. Yeah, teleportation device. Device. All right. So we have that, and wait. That should be working. Um, we have our anvil name, our lore. Um, I guess we have to, since we have a, a list of things, we have to do that. Um, and let's just do, and this, Oh yeah, you can do a comma for like more lines. We'll just actually we'll put that first. So we'll have a space in between the name and that, which still doesn't fix it. Oh, my bad. Uh, you're gonna have to do new item stack. Then that zero dot anvil, and then there we go. So you just have to do new item stack because it takes an item stack instead of a material. All right. So then we have our teleportation device. Um. And now we need to make our message. So message. So I guess when you click on this, it'll send them a message, which I don't know what, what that will be yet, but who cares? So. After material dot, I don't know, paper. Uh, then we'll comma chat color dot aqua, why not? Plus receive a fancy, actually no, messenger. I'm going to do arrays dot as list receive a fancy message. Then we can go ahead and add our little semicolon. We have that. Let's put some space in between there. And now we'll do get item. Set meta. And I guess this one will just give you a special item, maybe like a diamond sword. Yeah, we'll do that. So material dot, let's just do diamond sword. Where you at? Where you at? There it is. Your chat color dot bold dot two string plus chat color dot yellow plus and this is this will just be um so that the it's it's bold and yellow instead of just you know little small little colored letters. So chat color dot bold 
yellow bolded uh, get this item. I'm gonna do arrays. Uh, oops, arrays dot as list. Um. Oh, we didn't have check color there. Let's do check color dot green. And then we'll do chat color dot uh, dark gray, I guess. Plus, and let me just do that. Plus, um, um, get this amazing diamond sword. So that's all fine and dandy. And now we, okay, so we have our inventory. We have our item stacks that are going to be in, in our inventory, but we haven't actually set where these item stacks are going to be, or like if they're even going to be there. So we're going to have to do env dot set item, then we're going to do a uh, teleport, and then this will be where in the in the one row it'll be. So um, the middle, I guess, would be four. Yeah, it would be four. So. Let's just do for now. I don't know about if this, this spacing is gonna be right. We'll just do three, then m dot set item uh, message. We'll do this five m dot set item get item seven. Let's do that for now. Oh, I did that backwards. Let me just. So this, so this first argument is uh, is where it'll be, and this is the actual item stack. So I did that backwards. So now we have our inventory that is created when the plugin is enabled. But now, how are we going to actually show this inventory to the player? So we're going to have to do a public void show, and it'll take a player p. And then all it's going to do is do inv dot, uh, or no, p dot open inventory that would just do in so that is all fantastic that's all we're gonna need to do for this class um, just gonna make this look better add some spacing here and there all right so now we have that so we have our show method but we still don't have an event that triggers how uh, the 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 menu is shown to them. So here I can just do uh um so we okay so I've I made an event inventory click event um pretty basic so we can do um, player p equals and we have to cast this to a player and we're gonna do e dot get who clicked. And what this is doing is just uh, getting the player that's doing the, in the inventory clicking, which would be whoever's clicking in the inventory. And we're casting them to a player, so they're definitely going to be a player. And it's e.get who clicked. So we're going to do um, if e.get, uh, what is it? We got to get. Uh, uh, if e dot let's see e dot get all right my bad um I just forgot so we gotta do e dot get current item dot get item meta dot get display name so if their display name dot equals uh this object and what did we call it. So if the display name is uh, check color dot blue dot and it's teleportation device, um, then it'll do some stuff. So here, this is what we are, we're actually going to do the, the things that happen when they click it. So this is a teleportation device. So we can just do a uh, e dot teleport uh, l, which is going to be our location. And of course, we gotta make a location. So, location L equals new. 
location p dot get world and we'll just make it zero 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 these is just the world and the coordinates we gotta import location p dot teleport l and uh of course we gotta e dot set cancel true so they can't mess with the inventory because if you didn't do this then it would be allowed to drag the item into their own inventory which of course we don't want so we're gonna cancel that and e dot or p dot close inventory so that the inventory doesn't stay popped in their face so we have that so that's the teleportation device so we can just do if e dot get current item dot get item meta dot get display name dot equals something which is messenger chocolate.aqua messenger then we are going to um, send them a message of some sort so we'll just do uh, p p dot send message chat color dot what do we want uh, I don't know chat color dot dark or I have a gold chat color dot gold plus this is some pretty cool stuff how about that yeah why not so it's gonna send them that message then of course we're gonna cancel that and close their inventory and finally we'll do if you dot get current item dot get item meta dot get display name dot equals something and we'll do this stuff so that something is going to be checkler dot bold dot two string plus checkler dot yellow get this item which that won't paste very well so just back up there I guess we'll just if it equals that then we're going to do we're going to give them a diamond sword so um we have to we're actually going to have to create a new thing so we'll add this method in here blah, 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 blah. we'll do it's going to create uh, uh, item stack uh, sword equals new item stack material dot diamond diamond sword my diamond sword sword no do no name like well, I guess it's diamond sword mighty weapon we'll just do raise dot as list and this will be mighty weapon of greatness and I did something wrong there it is do that still did something wrong still did something that shot oh Oh my bad. Sent me to new item stack. Then we actually do need that. There we go. Then we can do p dot get in inventory. Let's set item uh, first hop our slot sword set that in there and we'll do of course this stuff oops so we're gonna cancel it and close their inventory and we should be good for this part but of course we cannot forget about our plugin.ymouse so we gotta do a new file call it the plugin dot 
why no? Oops, why no? Finish. And if you do forget about the plugin.yml, then your plugin will not work at all. They won't even show up when you type slash plugins. So make sure you do not forget about that. So name, um, menu, version, 1.0 main. So the main class is YouTube dot custom ends. Yep. And then dot main. And then the author is of course me, the Kevin Awesome. And that should be good since we do not have any commands. We do not, not do not need to add any. So then we can just export it. Export the old plugin. It's gonna be Java jar file, and we'll just browse desktop. Why not? And then we'll, what we'll call it? We'll call it uh, menu plugin. All right. So then desktop menu plugin dot jar and finish. Sweet. That didn't work. Let's try to refresh. Java jar file. And then oh, let's, let's just go to um, let's desktop. Go to my plugins folder. Um, games. Minecrafts plugins made by me. Um, what do they call it? Menu plugin. There we go. So I have put it in there, and I will turn on. I will start recording again in my server. One more thing I actually forgot to do, which I feel very stupid for. We need to make another event. Actually, yeah, another event. Um, an inter interact interact event. So public void on interact. Just gonna do that really quickly. Player interact event e. And uh, and import that of course. So player e equals e dot player. If e dot get action is equal to action dot right click air if p dot get item in hand dot get uh, let's do type is equal to material dot uh what are we gonna do? Compass, why not? Show dot compass. I'm gonna do show. I think we have to do menu dot uh we have to change this to static, I think. So it can be static. Sweet. And then we do um menu dot show. P. And then, all right, and then that'll show the inventory. And uh, yeah, so don't forget, don't forget to actually make them able to see it somehow. Then export that again. And I'll see you in my. We are back, and uh, we're on the server. And we're gonna see how this plugin rolls. Um. Here's a glimpse of my server. Yeah, uh, it's actually hold on. Just reconnect real quick. So yeah, that also has a nice little server here. But yeah, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I changed it to an apple by the way, because when I use a compass and I right click, um, world edit comes into play, which I forgot about. So I just use an apple. So when we right click, you see we get our cool inventory. Nice little inventory that opens up and uh. We got a teleportation device, our messenger, and uh, 
and we got our get this item. So let's see what happens when we do get this item. Let's see, we get this diamond sword and it says mighty weapon of greatness. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we can use it. And then we can do a messenger. And look, this is some pretty cool stuff. Wow. And then, uh, so that's that's pretty cool. And of course, the teleportation device um, it teleports me to zero zero zero, which on my server is not where you want to be. It'll just teleport you right back to spawn because you're below a certain Y. But uh, it does work. And uh, this is not this is this is uh, this isn't limited. So you can do a lot more than just uh, this kind of stuff. You could uh, I don't know set their game mode, uh, send them to some place. Uh, I don't know, you can do anything, you just gotta be creative. You can see my aligning here actually isn't that great. Um, we would want to do a, what, this one, and this one, and this one probably. So what's that? That's a, it's the third one, so two, four, and six. So let's, I'm just gonna change that now. Oops. Um, probably can't see it right now, but didn't worry about that. I'm just gonna export it real quick and hold on. All right, I just reloaded the server. Let's leave and rejoin. Let's see if uh, the spacing is any better. That's better. So now it looks pretty professional. You know, get this item. Get this. You know, messenger. So yeah, if you like this video, please rate and subscribe. It means more than you think. Um, give this video a good old like. Maybe comment on what you think I should do next, because I honestly do not know what I should do next. Um, if you have any problems, just let me know. I'll try to help you out. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And this is how you get sweet inventory. Thank you.